Hey, Sneaky Linux back tonight, and tonight I'm logging into OpenGEU. Yes, OpenGEU, based on Ubuntu 8.10. It's pretty funky, and the thing that makes it different from 8.10 is it uses an Enlightenment desktop, which is supposed to be quicker, funkier, etc., etc. You get a few funky things over there: clock, battery, some weather stuff that doesn't actually work on my PC, a calendar funky widget bar down the bottom so we're going to go there first have a little look round up pigeon, catfish, give me a few others looking good, looking good four desktops all the same picture not so good, but hey we'll carry on if you right click at the desktop you get the main menu there so anyway, we've got claws there for your mouth pigeon, blah 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 I'll go on and on, but you can see what I'm actually doing so that's lovely. At the bottom we've got the OpenGEU default configuration, which I'll come to later. So, where shall we start? Well, I'll tell you what we do. We'll go up to Favourite Applications. Just seen that. We'll go to Applications. We'll scroll down. I think we'll open a game up for a change. We never actually do that, do we? So, oops. Just meant to do that. We'll go up to Marshall. Couple of seconds, or maybe a few more, and there we go. We've got Marjong, nice, big, clear, sneaky wife. I likes it a lot. One of our favourite games. You can do this for hours. I think I'd get bored, but hey. Oh, by the way, them two don't match, just in case. So there's our game, which is alright. Nothing special, but you're looking for the thing that makes you want it, and it ain't that yet, is it? So I'll open the Fox up, and it's how you can see it's based on Ubuntu. It's got the Ubuntu browser thing, so, you know, hunky dory. So I'm going to put open a GEU into Google. There we are, it'll take us there. I'm going to click on Home, because that's where I know it is. And that comes the open GEU page. Now, open GEU is made in Italia, based on Hardy Heron 8.10, as I said before. And it used to be called Ubuntu, but they said they couldn't use that name, so what? But it just says it uses the Enlightenment desktop, and it's in beta still. So, you know, if it don't work, it don't work. But this is why I've got this distro, because I want Enlightenment to work on Ubuntu. So we'll go to the BBC first, anyway, before we start playing around. And go to the BBC homepage. As you can see, the fox brings up nice and clear. There's no blowing over, no smudging, no nothing like that. That's pretty cool. I can live with that one. So that's one of your main bits that works lovely. Don't you think? We'll close him down. Oh, never look right down here. There's Gimpy again, as I said before. Catfish. Don't know why they have that. Claws mail for your mail. Now, I'm not going to open this, but basically, you set it up like you would do Thunderbird, and you've got your old pop mail server. Lovely. Super duper. Mini Cooper. Terminal there. Ooh. One of my bestest favourites is a rhythm box, and it comes with OpenGU. This is a really, really easy to use music player and storage and everything else. I like it. Volume's a bit low sometimes, but that's Ubuntu more than anything else, I think. So next we go to the file manager, which I think is Thunar, but don't quote me on that one. But it all works nice and quick. Lovely jubbly. Enlightenment don't seem any quicker for me at the moment. And I will say it's a RAM hungry. I know I'm only using 384 RAM with this, but hey, it's still a bit sluggish, and it's supposed to be made for slower in desktops. Anyway, that's enough of my rambling now. We'll go to the OpenGU section. Now, this is the bit I wanted. Customise it. Yes, this is what I wanted to do. So you click on Next. As it says there, you'll be logged out as soon as you click OK, and you can then do all your bits and bobs for alignment. So, I'll click OK. I waited, and then I gave up waiting. It don't work, which is a bit gutted. It took the wind out of my cell, so to speak. So you know, I'm a bit bored now, because it had quite a bit going for it, being with the Enlightenment desktop. But it just doesn't do it properly just yet. Still needs a bit more work. Gimpy comes up all right, you know. It's all lunky dory nice and quick. But as before, ram hungry. I would suggest at least 512, if not more, for this. 
you got your volume and your trash can down there. There's not a lot more I can say about it, really. I was expecting more, but more didn't come out of it. That's life. That's like having a dinner that's rubbish, isn't it? Never mind. Sneaky Linux out. See you later.